Oh man, I got another good video for you guys. In this video today, you guys are going to discover the top 10 engineering degrees for 2024. That was perfect. And I'm making this video because many of you have asked, hey, if I'm gonna get an engineering degree, which one should I get? I can bring you in as an engineering supervisor. Right, because engineering is responsible for cutting edge innovations. And it is probably one of the most sought after fields that exist out there if you are going to go to college. I like that. And I recommend that if people are looking to get into some sort of engineering degree, they need to do their research because all engineering degrees aren't equal. So if you wanna know which engineering degree is the best, then I'm going to give you guys the facts because this list is based on pay and job growth. But before we get to the video, let me introduce myself. My name is Antoine Wade and I run the Black Hot channel. And if you like this sort of content, please make sure you hit that like button on the video. Also, if you are new to this channel and you're just stumbling across it on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because we drop videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we do a live stream on a Saturday or a Sunday. Now let's get to the video, guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Guys, let me explain something really quick before I jump into number 10. Getting an engineering degree is getting a practical degree. A lot of engineering is based on practical skills and it's going to provide you real life skills and guarantee you a decent income. I recommend engineering degrees on this channel. That was awesome. Also, if you think about the average American income, which is about $54,000 per year. Easy green. Guess what? Engineers who graduate college make more than that right after graduating college. Right, these guys make more money than the average American directly after graduating college. So it is a good degree to get because of the return on the investment. And not only that, if you work in the industry for years, four or five, six, seven, eight years, you will then be promoted to the managerial roles, which also pay very, very high in engineering jobs. Wow, that's amazing. Now, the managerial roles do require multiple years of experience, but if you are able to get there, you're going to make a lot of money. Uh, baby, uh, forever, baby. Coming in at number 10 is petroleum engineering. And petroleum engineering is the field that studies how to find, remove, and make hydrocarbons like oil and natural gas from deep inside the Earth's crust. A petroleum engineer is like a detective for oil and gas. Just imagine that there's a big treasure hunt happening deep underground, and they're the ones who figure out where to dig to find all of the hidden oil and gas. And they use special tools and knowledge to make sure that we can get the energy we need to run our cars and to keep our homes warm and cozy. And petroleum engineers are paid handsomely with an average salary of about $131,000 a year. Oh, wow. Although petroleum engineers are paid handsomely, the field does face some instability, which is the reason why this shows up at number 10. When oil prices are rising, of course, there are going to be petroleum engineers making all kinds of money. When oil prices are sinking, then they're going to be petroleum engineers who aren't making that much money and potentially will face some layoffs. Now I did some research from the Bureau of Labor Statistics and it's showing that an estimated 1,100 new petroleum engineering jobs will be created over the next 10 years. And this indicates that the field is slow to grow, which also is contributing to its number 10 on the rankings list. Coming in at number nine is industrial engineering. Industrial engineers are the wizards of efficiency and they specialize in making things work smoothly and efficiently in all sorts of places like factories and offices and even hospitals. You can think of them as the ultimate problem solver. They find ways to save time, money, and materials by designing processes that run like well-tuned, super fast race cars, helping organizations do their jobs better and faster. And industrial engineers are paid handsomely with an average salary of about $84,000 a year. 
That's nice. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, industrial engineering is expected to grow at about 10%, which is well faster or much faster than the average for all other occupations that exist out there. That means that there's going to be a high demand for industrial engineers. As I think about the future of the world and it becoming more and more complex, I see industrial engineers becoming more and more important in various industries, helping businesses and other organizations to streamline their processes. And as I mentioned, the field is expected to grow, creating over 30,000 new jobs over the next 10 years. Coming in at number eight is robotics engineering. A robotics engineer is like a digital puppeteer who's responsible for crafting and controlling the movements and actions of robots. So they blend engineering, computer science, and creativity to design, build, and manage robots that perform tasks from manufacturing to exploration with precision and efficiency. And robotics engineers play a pivotal role in our daily lives. They create robots that assemble our gadgets and explore hazardous environments and assist in surgeries. And now robots are so sophisticated that they automate tedious tasks and enhance our productivity and even deliver packages, making our lives more convenient and safer. And robotic engineers are paid handsomely with an average salary of about $104,000 a year. That is Awesome. And the field of robotic engineering is expected to grow faster than the average with an average growth rate of about 8.6%. And I will tell you this, the future looks bright because of the advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Robots are becoming more adaptable and more capable. And these robots will continue to revolutionize the industries like healthcare and transportation and manufacturing, offering up solutions to complex challenges, improving our quality of life. And robotic engineers are at the forefront of this technological revolution driving innovation and shaping the world of tomorrow. And at number seven is biomedical engineering. A biomedical engineer is like a bridge builder between the worlds of medicine and engineering. They use their expertise to design and develop devices, equipment, and technologies that improve healthcare. And not only that, they build life-saving medical devices and also cutting edge diagnostic tools and biomedical engineers impact our daily lives in many ways they create artificial limbs and design medical imaging devices like mri machines and develop prosthetic legs or prosthetic organs and they help to diagnose diseases early enhance the treatment of these diseases and not only that improve the overall quality of healthcare, contributing to longer and healthier lives and biomedical engineers are paid handsomely with an average salary of about ninety seven thousand dollars a year that's perfect and the job growth outlook is expected to be about eight percent which is higher than the national average and i believe the future of biomedical engineering is exciting as medical technology continues to advance so does the demand for innovative solutions and biomedical engineers will continue to push the boundaries developing new medical devices improving healthcare delivery and contributing to breakthroughs in areas like regenerative medicine and telemedicine and their work will play a crucial role in shaping the future of healthcare and improving the well being of people around the world. Coming in at number six is computer engineering. A computer engineer is a very high skilled professional who specializes in designing and developing and maintaining the intricate hardware and software systems that power computers and digital devices. And you can think of them as the architects of the digital world, ensuring that technology functions efficiently, securely, and innovatively from microchips to circuitry to software applications and networks. And computer engineers are indispensable in our daily lives. They create the devices that we rely on, such as software or communication devices, such as a cell phone, and they ensure 
ensure the security of our digital world and they enable us to connect work and play in today's technological driven society and they make a lot of money with an average salary of about eighty eight thousand dollars a year that's great man and the job prospects are strong with a strong demand for computer engineers across various industries such as healthcare and the technology industry in the supply chain industry and i believe the future of computer engineering is limitless i'm mean, like with the growth that we're seeing in technology computer engineers will continue to lead the way in innovation and they will create smarter devices and advance artificial intelligence and enhance cybersecurity. and as technology becomes more integrated into our lives computer engineers will remain at the forefront shaping our digital landscape coming in at number five is a chemical engineer and a chemical engineer is like a molecular architect shaping the substances and the processes that power our world. They apply principles of chemistry and physics and engineering to create and optimize everything from the food that we put in our mouths to the, the fuel or the gas that we put into our cars. And chemical engineers are very important because they are able to design processes to turn raw materials into products that we rely on like medicine or plastics and clean energy and they ensure the safety of our water supply and develop substantial solutions that protect the environment and chemical engineers make on average about ninety nine thousand dollars a year pretty good and the job growth is very high with about 7.6 percent according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics and with opportunities in various industries, including pharmaceuticals, energy and environmental protection. And I believe the future of chemical engineering is very, very promising, you know, as global challenges such as climate change and resource scarcity continue to grow. Chemical engineers will play a big role into developing sustainable solutions and they will innovate cleaner energy sources and find a way to reduce waste and create environmentally friendly materials. Coming in at number four is electrical engineering. And electrical engineers are the architects of circuits and systems and the technologies that light up our world power our devices and drive innovation. And electrical engineers are essential to our daily lives because they ensure that our homes have electricity or our devices work seamlessly and our communication networks remain connected. They drive innovation in renewable energy, enabling a sustainable future. And electrical engineering is one of the highest paid of the engineering disciplines with an average salary of about $113,000 a year. That's what I like to hear, man. And the job prospects are very, very positive, growing at about 10% with strong demand in fields such as electronics, telecommunications and energy. And I think the future of electrical engineering is electrifying. I think it electrify. <laughs> you know, with the rise of clean energy in the internet of things, electrical engineers will continue to shape the way that we live. They will create smarter and more energy efficient technologies and enhance automation and contribute to the connected world where innovation knows no bounds. Coming in at number three is aerospace engineering. And aerospace engineers are professionals who specialize in designing and developing and testing aircrafts, spacecrafts, and the related systems which ultimately push the boundaries of human exploration. And aerospace engineers are more important in our daily lives than I think that we realize. They are responsible for ensuring the safety and the efficiency of air travel, which many of us do multiple times a year. And they also make air travel accessible and reliable. They also drive innovations in satellite technology, enabling global communication and weather forecasting. And these guys make a lot of money with an average salary of about $116,000 a year. That's interesting. That's very interesting. And the job growth rate is stable at about 3%, which is lower than some of the other engineering 
majors in this video, but it is considered to be average and it is considered to be steady and the steady demand will be out there for the expertise of aerospace engineers. And I think the future of aerospace engineering is limitless. I mean, you think about there being a lot of talk about space exploration in the advancements in aviation technology. Aerospace engineers will be at the forefront of that and will continue to lead the way. They will develop sustainable aviation solutions and create innovative spacecrafts for planetary exploration and revolutionize air travel. And coming in at number two is civil engineering. Now you're probably asking, what is a civil engineer? Well, a civil engineer is like the architect of our infrastructure and they're responsible for designing and constructing the foundations of our modern world they specialize in planning designing and overseeing the construction of essential infrastructure from bridges and roads to buildings and water systems and they are critical to our daily lives as they ensure safety efficiency and sustainability of our communities they create the roads that we drive on the bridges that we cross in the buildings that we work and live in and their work directly impacts our quality of life and our safety and you know with them being an engineer they're going to make a lot of money with an average salary of about ninety four thousand dollars a year oh that, that's Nice. And the job growth rate for civil engineers are about 2%, which is considered slower than the average, but it still reflects ongoing opportunities in the field. And I believe the future of civil engineering is promising. You think about civil engineers and our infrastructure here in the United States with many of it needing to be rebuilt and civil engineers will lead initiatives to create sustainable and resilient cities and improve our transportation systems and address environmental challenges. This summer was hot in here in Texas and it's because of the roads and new roads being built and they're going to come up with new ways to make our infrastructure better with green technologies to build a safer and more connected in an environmentally friendly world. And coming in at number one is mechanical engineering and a mechanical engineer is like a master craftsman of machinery designing and perfecting the mechanical systems that power our world. And they specialize in creating and analyzing and optimizing mechanical devices from engines that are in our cars and robots to the intricate machinery used in manufacturing the goods that we eat or we use every single day. And mechanical engineers play a essential role in our daily lives. They ensure that the cars that we drive, the appliances that we use, and the products that we enjoy are safe, efficient, and reliable. And their work is the backbone of the technological advancements, improving our overall quality of life. And mechanical engineers are paid handsomely with an average salary of about $95,000 a year. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and the job growth rate is about 4%, which is considered to be faster than average. And there is a steady demand over the next 10 years for mechanical engineers in their expertise. I think the future of mechanical engineering is full of innovation. Mechanical engineers will continue to drive progress in robotics, renewable energy, and sustainable design. And they will pioneer new technologies, making our world smarter, more efficient, and environmentally responsible. So there you have it, guys. These are the top 10 engineering degrees for 2024. If you are going to school to be an engineer, these are the ones that you should consider because of the pay and the job growth rate, guys. You definitely want to get into a field that's gonna give you a return on your investment. Our old I. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, please make sure that you hit that like button. Also, if you are new to the channel and you like this content, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because we drop videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we do a live stream on a Saturday or a Sunday. Guys, my name is Antoine Wade and I run the Black Heights channel and we will see you on the next one. Peace.